What's up, gang? Sushi gang, sushi gang, sushi gang. Gang, gang. Hello? Mic testing. Hello? Is this thing on? So, in this video today, I want to talk about why your sushi sucks. Not really why your sushi sucks, but why your cuts look bad. I notice a lot lately. I've been training new people for the sushi bar, and I notice a lot of things. They when they when they cut, it's all the same thing. They're it's like they're scared, and they they want to push it like you would a normal like a normal vegetable or something that you would cut in a kitchen. It's not really the case when it comes to sushi rolls, and let's talk about that. All right, guys, in this video, I wanna talk about why your sushi rolls are coming out lopsided, why they look all weird and goofy. All of you at-home sushi chefs and all you sushi fanatics and all you sushi lovers out there, let me tell you why your rolls are coming out and looking like crap whenever you're cutting them. It's important to understand and learn knife control. Let the knife do all the work. That's what it's supposed to do. Now, before we get into this, please make sure you have a super sharp knife. If you don't have one already, I would invest in a good sharpening stone. This is a 1000. This is a very, very old 1000 stone. As you can see, it has warped and I haven't had time to correct it or fix it, but I will. I would invest in one of these. It's a 1000 grit king stone, I believe. Um, I think they're like 50 to $60. Can't remember. That was actually a gift from a coworker a really long time ago. I would invest in a really good stone if I were you. If you like to cook at home, if you like to make sushi, you need super sharp knives. So let's talk about why your sushi rolls come out looking like trapezoidus, chungus, mungus looking pieces of food. You're pushing down on the roll. It's no, it's not hard to understand this, but a lot of times I'll see pictures on Reddit or Instagram and these people with big a big following but their sushi rolls look like garbage and I'm just like why is it that they have so many followers and like this stuff but it looks like crap you really want to slice the roll like I said you want to let the knife do all the work just push forward on the knife and if it's sharp enough it will cut through the roll very cleanly we have a tendency as chefs at home chefs, professional chefs, we have a tendency of pushing, chopping down on the knife. Say you're cutting onion or carrots or some protein, you have a tendency of wanting to push the knife through. And with sushi, it's different. You wanna use and utilize as much as the blade as possible. Oftentimes, I start at the tip of the blade and end my way all the way down to the heel. Normally, when you're chopping vegetables, you're using the back half more towards the heel of the blade. With sushi, it's kind of mixed. You want to use the entirety of the blade. You got to utilize the tip of the blade, you guys. The tip. It's a magical place to start. Just the tip. When I'm rolling fast-paced, I like to kind of put my finger in a weird... This is a soda straw. So I like to do almost like I'm playing billiards, but I like to put the knife here and the tip is the bottom, obviously. But I like to place the knife that way when I cut my rolls. I like to put my fingers on each side of the, of the sushi roll so that it doesn't move in place. I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. This is gonna be my lunch. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wet my knife and let a bead of water run down the entirety of my blade. Notice the angle that I'm using on my knife to cut through the sushi roll. All I'm literally doing is pushing the knife forward and letting it do all the work. A lot of people have a tendency of wanting to chop the roll instead of slicing it. With sushi, it's a little different. You don't really want to push down on it. You want to push forward with a really sharp knife. And that technique, as you saw, I did a pulling technique, which is the same, but I'm letting, I'm pulling instead of pushing the knife forward, I'm pulling the knife backwards. This is a demonstration of what not to do. You don't want to push down on the sushi roll, you want to push the blade forward. And here's the difference of what it looks like.
What the plastic is going to do is keep it all together while you're cutting it. If you don't have it while uh, you have stuff on top, things can start flying around and it can get really messy. So if you're ever making sushi at home and you want to put something on top like avocado or shrimp or tuna, uh, any kind of fish, any, anything, you can always saran wrap it to kind of help keep it in place while you cut. When you're done cutting, all you have to do is put your bamboo sheet back on top and your, and your bamboo sheet will catch most of that saran wrap and making it a lot easier to remove. Well, you guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. This is more of a beginner sushi chef specific video. All you beginner sushi chefs out there, this video is for you. Um, I know a lot of you guys already know how to cut sushi probably, maybe. But if you don't, I hope this video helps. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I plan on shooting another one on um, what me and my girlfriend make for dinner tonight. Okonomiyaki. Hopefully we make it. I hope so because I'm craving it. Thank you so much for checking this video out, you guys. I'm sorry I haven't been posting. I didn't post last week because I sidetracked with something. Oh, actually, I posted this video, but I didn't like the way it looked and I didn't have time to reshoot it during the week because I work 11 hour days and that's 10, 10 to 11 hour days mostly. So I'm always busy doing something. I hope you guys understand and I hope you guys continue to follow and enjoy these videos. If you want to see something specific, please leave a comment down below, hit me up, leave a message, and I would love to shoot any kind of video that you guys want to see. And Thanks for watching, you guys. I really appreciate you, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Costa! I haven't done that in a while. It's your boy, Costa! Yeah. <laughs>